Hi, I'm Dan Thyer, CTO of Logical Advantage, and this Christmas I've been having a blast with the Internet of Things. If you look over here, you see a 20-foot Christmas tree that I built. I did this with two 10-feet cast iron pipes, and it's hammered in the ground. And um, there's 12 strands of lights wrapped around the poles, and all those strands are fed into a circuit that's controlled by the Spark Core um, microcontroller. The Spark Core, I'm really excited about this microcontroller. It's a, got a really small form factor, but the best part about it is you um, flash the program over the air. So what that means is the tree is on the network over Wi-Fi. So I can be anywhere with my laptop that I have an internet connection and I can program the tree. I can change the pattern, make it do really whatever I want it to do. And um, that's really liberating that you can deploy code from anywhere. Let me take you over this way and I'll show you what the circuit looks like. So if you look at the tree now, it's doing a fade pattern. And um, the tree has 12 channels, but there's only eight pins on the um, spark core that are used for analog. So um, there's eight pins that you can do um, pulse width modulation. If you look at it now, the whole tree is fading in and out. And it's fading in and out on all 12 channels. And so I wrote my own pulse width modulator in the software. And it's a little bit crude, but it's effective enough to, um, to do the effect well. So inside here, you can see these solid state relays. And um, each of these, this is a bank of eight solid state relays and then a bank of four. But the brains of everything is this little guy here. That's the Spark Core microcontroller. And um, each one of these solid state relays is going to a pin in the microcontroller and it's just turning it on and off into a whole bunch of patterns to um, look pretty. So I could look at this all day long because the patterns are mesmerizing. So one other thing that's really neat about this is it's modular. What I mean by that, there's one plug that goes into it that's controlling this whole circuit. So at the end of the Christmas season, I'll take the tree and put it in the garage and then next year when it's time to put it back in the, in the ground, I'll put it in the ground and plug it in and it's good to go. So um, having this thing smart and having all the logic as part of the unit is really, really neat and what the Internet of Things is all about. I did a few other Internet of Things in the yard and I'm going to go to the mobile app. And if you look at the snowman over here, I'm going to turn the snowman off. And over here I can do things like the wreath and the icicles and um, on the chimney over there you can see Santa and I can even make him go away or Santa has to come back so um, I can do all kinds of really neat effects and um, with doing things on the network and making things smart you can really start to do some cool things and a lot of people are doing music and but they're not everything in the yard's not smart so you get all kinds of options you have when you can talk over Wi-Fi. So you can tell every smart thing in the yard that the song's about to start and what song's about to start and then each device can run the right program for that song. And so I'm going to have a blast next year on um, kind of coordinating things in the yard to um, dance to the music. I'm Dan Thyer, CTO of Logical Advantage and there you have it.